Yeah, yeah this fight will start will start against me and one of Terraria's optional bosses, the Queen Bee. Now, this boss is not one as the name suggests, you don't need to defeat it in order to progress in the game. But if you do, the side bosses in Terraria definitely give you items that are well worth your time. Or at least they give you advantages. If you want to craft the most powerful sword in the game, this boss is a requirement, however. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm just demonstrating which uh, my current setup as of this point in the game. I recorded this footage about a month or so ago before, uh, before editing it. I haven't edited it for a while due to my me basically living at my work for a good amount of time. But that's besides the point. Let's begin the battle. And right and right then, the B already charges at me at intense speeds. Again, this is Master Modes. This is the hardest difficulty in the game. Master Modes is a new difficulty that was introduced in 1.4, the current version I'm playing, and the final, the true final update of uh, Terraria. For now. I say for now because the company is very, um, fun. Let's just say that. And not in a negative way. They, Real Logic is a very great um, video game company. They do know how to treat their fans well. Anyway, the B uh, has a few different attacks. She charges at you at high speed. She goes uh, away from you for a bit, then she charges at you at high speed and tries to ram you. Another one, which is my most hated attack, is that one. The one where she just shoots stingers at you. And those bolts do like, what, 50 damage to me? And I have like, what, 28, 23 defense? Inc not including the um, defense boost from the defense potion and the Bast statue that you get in the underground desert. Bast statue increases your defense by 5, and the iron skin potion, there we go, increases your defense by 8, so it gives me an additional 13 uh, defense. Anyway, man, I'm taking a bit of a beating from this boss. I've actually never fought this boss in an open area like this, like in a more serious manner. So, excuse my rustiness. The arrows I'm using are Hellfire arrows. They're pretty great. You find them in the underground. Uh, actually, you find them in the underworld when you break pots. But you can also craft them out of Hellstone bars. One bar and a hundred arrows, wooden arrows, gets you a hundred, a hundred, uh, a hundred of the um, arrow type. And they do a nice amount of damage. As you can tell, what, 75 damage? with a Molten Bow, which you also craft out of uh, Hell Stone Bars. Yep. Man, this boss is definitely a um, quite swift. Not exactly one I would fight all willy-nilly in this stage of the game. This is definitely one that requires quite a lot of concentration. In fact, uh, that honey over there, I step into the honey for a bit, and if you can tell in the little buff corner, I actually gain a regeneration buff called honey. It is exactly, it has the exact same stats as the normal life of the normal like potion, like regen potion. It gives you two HP per second of uh, life regeneration. So multiple uh, regeneration types can stack with each other. Unlike Minecraft, where you have like levels of, a, of one potion status effect, here you don't have levels, instead you have other status effects that are like similar in nature or essentially carbon copies. The cool thing about that regeneration, the honey regeneration is it, it, holy cow, look at that. It was just, look at it, spam those little bolts. Sheesh, I was already at 81 life. Well, anyway, back to what I was saying, the honey bu- I almost died there, holy moly. That was definitely a clutch play. Anyway, the honey buff can stack with the life, uh, with the standard regeneration buff, which gives you for a total of four life. Other, there's other regenerations that, uh, and regeneration buffs that can stack with each other in the future. Uh, later down in the game. The, one of the weapons, uh, one of the exclusive uh, items from expert mode is the uh, hive pack, which increases the size of friendly bees. Especially useful when you use the bee nade, which is an amazing weapon that melts the wall of flesh. But I'm not going to show you any more wall of flesh footage. You've seen enough on this channel already. 